Hello and welcome to our mini lesson today. We're going to be talking a little bit about absolute values today. Um, it's also related to number lines, but um, the lesson is mainly about absolute values. So let's talk a little bit about what an absolute value is. First off, this question down here. What is the absolute value of 5? That's what these symbols on the sides mean. OK, the absolute value of positive 5. Now, if you have a positive number inside out at the absolute value, it is simply equal to the value of 5. So this one, the absolute value of 5 is equal to 5. Now this guy, the absolute value of negative 5, when we have something like that, we essentially eliminate the negative sign. Okay, so what absolute value means, what these symbols here mean, is that whatever's inside there, we're going to take the positive value of it. Okay, so we basically get rid of all the get rid of the negative sign. Okay, so that the absolute value of five is equal to five, and the absolute value of negative five is also equal to positive five. So when we have this, we're going to be placing the correct symbol in between these two terms, all right, negative 8 and positive 3, which is larger? We're going to be using the greater than, less than, or equal to sign. Which is greater, negative 8 or positive 3? Well, positive 3 is definitely greater, so that's our symbol right there, okay? Whoops, it's <laughs> pretty ugly, less than sign, but negative 8 is less than 3. Now, when we have absolute value signs around both of these, this becomes positive 8 and positive 3. You see that? We take the positive value of the number that's inside there. So it becomes positive 8 and positive 3. And positive 8 is greater than positive 3. Okay? So the symbol that would go in there is the greater than symbol. All right. In our next one, we have a positive 8 and a negative 3. And in this case, positive 8 is definitely greater than negative 3, Okay, because any positive number is greater than a negative number. And then I've gone and put the absolute value signs over this as well. So when we take the absolute value of positive 8, we will get positive 8. And we take the absolute value of negative 3, we'll get positive 3. And positive 8 is greater than positive 3. OK? So basically, in this case, we saw some examples of what happens when we take the absolute value of negative numbers and the absolute value of positive numbers. OK, so I wanted to use this to kind of show each of the different things you may see inside the quiz and also um, to help you to understand what happens with absolute values, OK? And also with greater than and less than. Now, the last question for today about absolute values is how many solutions are there to this equation? OK, I want you to think about that for a minute. How many solutions, how many numbers could I put in for n to get the solution of 8? OK, I'll give you the first one. n is equal to 8. When n is equal to 8, the absolute value of 8 will give me 8. OK, you see that? When I stuck in the value 8 in here, I said the absolute value of 8 is equal to 8, and we get the correct answer. Are there any other numbers that we could plug in for n where we will get the answer of positive 8? OK, with all that we've done, I hope that we can recognize pretty quickly that when n is equal to negative 8, 
the absolute value of n, right, we'll see, okay, again we've just taken this equation from up here, and now we're going to plug in negative 8 in for n, the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8, and the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8, so that's also correct. So when we go down to the bottom, there are two solutions. It's pretty messy, but you see the point here. There are two solutions to this equation. We could put in positive 8, or we could put in negative 8, and it will be a true statement. Any other number you put in there, it's going to not be a true statement. Okay? So those are the two solutions. So you remember when you see something like this that you can have two positive or two solutions that are correct, one being the positive value and one being the negative value. All right, that's our lesson today on absolute values. I hope that it's been helpful and have a wonderful day.